given the world we live in where transphobia, homophobia, Islamophobia, every phobia you could possibly imagine is supported by the leader of a free world, it's terribly important right now that we do have role models who are fighting that at every level, on a community level, on a social level, on a schools level, and on a calendar level, and on a political level. Every, every level you can possibly imagine, the battle is now, and the battle needs to be fought now as vigorously as it possibly can. And the organisation is a fantastic organisation and does a huge amount of work, particularly within sport, which is obviously uh, a vital communicator to the young people. I think that throughout life, wherever you're from, whatever you look like, you know, your background, I think it's always helpful for someone to have someone that inspires them and someone that they can relate to. Just, I think that humans in general just don't ever want to feel alone. So when there's someone that you recognize yourself in, I think it always helps. Homophobia within sport, within everyday life, no matter, you know, sport, business, anything has to change, it has to stop. You know, it wasn't long ago that you know, that people would talk about ginger people in a kind of very derogatory way and it's turned them into people who just like anyone else. And I think the other way it's very important is the sort of role model aspect, which is some of the people in the calendar, their personal stories are utterly astonishing in that they've come from backgrounds where they've undergone incredible personal hardship and it's changed into something amazingly transformational simply by being aware of their own personalities and how good that they feel and in a time when we're suffering a lot of difficult things I think that's a great thing yeah I mean god now my my life as a redhead is 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 hugely positive because you know my life is red hot and red hot has created this whole uh, amazing uh, whirlwind of positivity towards ginger guys but um, growing up, I hated being ginger, and that's where this came from originally. I hated being ginger. I, uh, when people bullied me for being ginger, I agreed with them. I was like, you know, I agree with you. I hate, I hate it too. I didn't have any self confidence. I didn't, I didn't believe that I, that I, that I looked. Um, I didn't want to. Had no pride in being ginger, but now I do. And that's, you know, a massive change in my life. Self-actualization for kids, any of us who have grown up, like you realize the older you get that it's really important to have people you can look up to and say as a kid, like, I want to be like them, that person's like me. And everyone should feel like they have a right to have a voice, uh, to be themselves, um, and to embrace uh, themselves for who they truly are. Uh, and I think that Red Hot does a really great job of, uh, of exploring that and pushing people to, to do that, to be themselves.